Hey everyone, welcome back to Disney Twisted Outlaws. It's time for our next theory video. So, did you see them? They were the tallest beings at Elfheim throughout Chapter 369. And it seems like they were not noticed because you were all too busy judging Guts while he takes a mental break. I mean, come on. Not everyone, or anyone really, could keep sending demons and evil spirits back to hell with a 300-pound astral plane touch sword originally meant to demolish dragons. But, before we begin, if you like giant swords and hot babes and all that fun, excitement, drill, and packed action, hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey to train for a Guinness Book of World Records and destroying 100 humanoid targets in record time. Now, back to the video. Griffith has destroyed Elfheim in Chapter 369. He got the job started earlier, but Chapter 369 is definitely when it's like, it's done. It's destroyed. There's a big old crater. He has retrieved his biggest groupie, Casca, and left guts in a pool of his own self-doubt and sweat. But did Griffith really win? Probably not. If you check out our other video on Griffith's Critical Mistakes, Part 1 and 2, you will see his primary mistake laid out. But if you wipe away those tears from seeing Guts not looking too good, you will see within Chapter 369, four beings appear over the island. Perhaps there was more than just the spirits of despair released from the depths of the astral plane or from the depths of Af Elfheim in Chapter 369 than we were originally left to believe. Do you see them? If you look closely at the picture provided to you before you, you will see four familiar beings. Or, shall I say, the four elemental kings or the four kings of the world. Really depends on who you ask, it seems. They can be seen before you manifesting themselves from deep inside the astral plane, even as our wonderful and beloved Elfheim friends are pulled back into the astral plane. You got Ate, the elemental king of air. Marked, the elemental king of earth. Ve, the elemental king of the water. Kedola, the elemental king of fire. All four of them can see right here before you. We'll show you those pictures. That way you can compare. Though not as recognizable as they were when Shirke called upon them to protect the church, you could definitely see each elemental kings rise up around the demolished island of Elfheim after the destruction left behind by Griffith. But the real question is, why would they be here? This is our theory. This is going off built upon all of our other theories. The four elemental kings rose in response to the massive power play dealt out by Griffith as he used his power to destroy Elfheim. Think about the massive vacuum that would have been torn into the astral plane and the corporeal world by the release of the despair spirits, and then their destruction as Light and Skull Knight destroyed them. Then the vacuum of all of the inhabitants of Elfheim being warped back into the astral plane. Such a tumultuous storm of power would have been felt across the astral plane and could not be ignored by these kings or any other deeper, darker spirits, kings, gods, goddesses of the astral plane and beyond. Which is why we believe we see them rise above Elfheim. They had to respond, probably not happy, especially with Griffith or Femto. But what does this mean? In our theory video about Griffith's critical mistake, we believe that Shirke and Farnese will play a pivotal role in countering what will happen to Elfheim. However, with Elfheim's complete destruction, they're not as likely to be the ones to restore it. At least not completely. But we did predict within that video that powerful spirits other than those of the spare could be unleashed. And that Shirke could connect with those spirits to send them into the ask to send our party our friends, our allies, guts at everyone, at least their spirits or their owed, deep into the astral plane to retrieve their friends. And, honestly, perhaps even rebuild Elfheim and restore order. You heard that right. That's our theory, that the four elemental kings will send our friends deep into the astral plane to retrieve those lost and rebuild Elfheim to restore the balance. That's our theory. That's what we believe everyone missed out on. And I think that's something that's definitely should be up for discussion. But that's what the comment section is for. So let us know what you think. Like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.